Hollywood Lifers, it's Bonnie, and I'm here today with Logan West, who is Miss Teen USA 2012. Hello. So tell me a little bit about your year. What have been the yeah. high points? What have you learned? Definitely. Um, when I was crowned, I think I kind of expected that it was going to be like just one year's thing, and when you're done, you go home, but I would never expected like all the things that would be lined up for when I'm done. So I'm very excited about what the future holds, but I think like the bonding and the sisterhood that comes with being Miss Teen USA and then all the opportunities are just incredible. What is the bonding that happens? Yeah, um, we like to say that no one will understand what you're going through like someone who's actually going through it. So I live in an apartment with Miss USA and Miss Universe. So, so do you, um, did you live with Nana Merriweather? I did. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we've met sis. Nana. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it's it's good like when you go home after a long day like most people will be like oh my god like your life is so great what are you upset about but to actually have someone who gets why you're upset sometimes is perfect. Tell yeah. us a little bit about what Unite Against Bullies Definitely. is and what inspired it because you were bullied, as, I was bullied. as a teenager. Mm -hmm. So um, tell us about that. Yeah, I was bullied when I was in the seventh grade by a student who told me I did not act my skin color. Um, but I had no idea what bullying was. I didn't really know how to describe. I didn't really know what I was feeling either. Um, but after that experience, I kind of said there had to be a way I could turn that negative experience into something positive. And I kind of said that I just needed to educate not only students, but teachers and school administrators what bullying is so they would know how to stop it. And what about um, cyberbullying? Because a lot yeah. of bullying is now going on over Facebook, over tech. Definitely. I think that most people think because it's cyberbullying that nothing can really be done, but for most state laws, if it's causing a student to feel uncomfortable in school, whatever's going on outside of school, the bully can still suffer the consequences. So I don't think that people should still keep quiet, speak up about it because you can't get the help you need. Now, final question. Mm -hmm. We've talked to Miss Universe. We've talked to Miss Teen, Miss USA. Yes. They've both told us that it is really hard to date yeah. when you are <laughs> a, a pageant winner, that men are either like afraid or what's yeah. the deal? Um, I never really dated much. I've only had one boyfriend in my entire life. but. It got really weird once I started the whole pageant thing just because I feel like you get the really shy people who like won't talk to you because they think you're not normal when I promise you really are just normal people. Um, <laughs> or you get like the creeps that really like think they can talk to you even though they probably shouldn't be. So we get those a lot. I get the creeps more than anyone else does. I don't know why. Like I'm the youngest one of all of us, but I get a lot of the 60 year olds. 60 year olds. 60 year olds. Like, why would you want to walk around with Miss Teen USA on your own? Yeah. I don't know, but. That is really creepy. Yeah, but my rule is if like, you're old enough to be my dad, you shouldn't even. No, good rule. And yeah. Hollywood lifers, I would advise that rule in your own life. <laughs> Do not date a guy who is old enough, old to, be enough to be your dad. Take no. it from Miss Teen USA. <laughs>